bulk pricing on top of the line GAF shingles, including Timberline, America's favorite shingle. This is worth shouting from the rooftops. Let's do this. Save 20% on one or more pallets of in stock GAF shingles at the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. Out through September 30th, US only. See store for details. KLZ Denver. Hey, everybody, it's Eric and Angel, and the Experience Pros Radio Show is coming up next. Absolutely, and today is the final day for the early bird pricing for the Real Women, Real Issues, Real Solutions Christian Women Conference. It's going on October 3rd. That's a Saturday. You want to get your tickets at Eventbrite. Just look up Eventbrite and Real Women, Real Issues. You're one of those speakers, aren't you? I am. I'm actually getting to be one of the speakers. My friend Angie Austin, who hosts The Good Day and The Good News with Angie Austin. She also hosts Daybreak USA. She's kind of a rock star. Um, incredible story. Also, our friend Carrie Conley from Infinite Nation is one of the speakers that day. It's a great lineup. Six fantastic women, six powerful stories. You don't want to miss it. And today is that day. You can bring your girlfriend, kind of get your girlfriend in and uh, do a fabulous deal. But that is that early bird pricing does end today. Get on it. All right. Let's take a look at the calendar for some uh, fantastic networking events coming up, including the one tonight up in Loveland. If you can hear our voice up there in Loveland, we'd love to invite you to Mimi's Cafe. And it's from 530 to, uh, 530 to 7.30 p.m. tonight. Tonight, tomorrow, Wednesday, what is that, Wednesday, September 16th, 16th uh, there's a follow-up strategy group training hosted by CR Conversations going on at 9 a.m. You want to learn the best follow-up strategy she was fan bragged about for some of her workshops um, you know, from CR Conversations. So sign up for that. You can find it on our calendar, experiencepros.com. Click on the calendar tab. And then tomorrow night, we're at the Fox and the Hound. Right. Epic networking. You know, this is the big event of the month for us. Uh, there would probably be 100 plus uh, people there. And it is from 5.30 to 7.30 is the regular traditional networking. But stay, stay an extra hour and dance with us. We crank up a dance party at the end of this. It is super fun, super crazy, super just it's just super. But if you want something a little more quiet, you know, that's more your speed and maybe something early in the morning, check out our brand new leads groups going on the on every Thursday morning at 7.30 a.m. Again, the details are on our calendar if a leads group is more your speed. And then our friends over, um, Sabina Claus is doing a 2015 Q4 marketing workshop. We're talking the fourth quarter, making sure your business is growing. You have everything you need to end the year strong. Sign up for that as well. That's September 17th at two o'clock. On Saturday the 19th, it's $20 Saturday at iAmazing Creations. You want to get out there and check that out. It is, uh, they do uh, lash and brow tinting, brow shaping, lap, uh, lip and chin waxing, underarm waxing, a whole bunch of stuff. Check out that at the calendar, experiencepros.com for slash calendar. And that's just this week. Right. That is just this week. Next week, there's a fresh pasta class, social media webinar. Then we're going to work out at Orange Theory Fitness Yeah, we're Friday. working out at Orange Theory. It's kind of an end your month, end your week with us by working out at Orange Theory on the 25th. The Card Caper Mystery Connection is going on on the 26th. Oh, then boom and stern storming. And that wraps up the month, folks. Check it all out at the calendar. You're going to love it experiencepros.com slash a calendar. Subscribe to it and never miss an event. All right. Now it's time to buckle up and get ready because here comes the Experience Pros radio show. You know it as the most positive business talk show in America. Do us a favor. Call somebody and tell them it's coming up now. Just selecting good investments and fund managers may not prepare you for the retirement income you need. There are five important, less obvious decisions. Learn these five decisions and how to make them. Tune in to America's Wealth Management Show, sponsored locally by Life Certain Wealth Strategies here on KLZ 560 every Saturday morning from 9 to 10. The Experience Pros with Angel and Eric next on KLZ 560. <laughs> You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, best-selling authors of lists that save my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you that small business is big business and your business is our business. Let's talk about socks. What? 
Let's talk about socks. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a, a sock dilemma today. You, you had a sock dilemma? Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a sock dilemma? What the heck is a sock a dilemma? Dilemma. Over your socks. No. What? What? What is a sock dilemma? I didn't have the right style of sock for a pair of shoes I wanted to wear. Yeah, come on. Wait, what? How many different styles of socks do you think there are? Do you know? Do you know how many different styles of socks there are? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> I, mean, I know how many socks I have. Right? I mean, you've got sports socks and dress yeah. socks and black socks and different socks for holidays. Yeah. And, and you probably, as a kid, probably when you were growing up, you probably had like one pair of white socks and you wore them with everything. You had all your tennis shoes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Shoes, wore, and they, they stunk. But, you know, as a, a full grown, uh, hot blooded American male, I can say I don't have enough socks. You don't have enough socks. I don't get enough socks. You don't get enough socks. Right. All right. Well, are we still talking socks? Of course. I'm just talking socks. What are you talking about? All right. Well, now, I mean, I think I've turned into kind of a snock so A sock a, snob? A sock snob. What is a sock snob? I notice people's socks. Oh, boy. I, and I notice gentlemen's socks. Now he's looking at his socks. Right. Right? I, I look at gentlemen's socks, and I really like it when a gentleman has nice socks. Yes. Uh, because, or he t makes some attempt to match either to his pant leg or to his shoe. I pay attention to that. Is there a rule? Well, I don't know if there's a rule, but you just... Does it have to match your belt? It doesn't have to match your belt. You just notice when a gentleman is wearing slacks, yeah. you know, nice. You know, you've gone to all this trouble, right? You put on a jacket, you put on a tie, you put on a belt, you make all these efforts, you've groomed yourself, and then you just have, you know, boring old socks. Yeah. It kind of, it's like it, it finishes the whole, the whole wardrobe, the whole outfit. But of course, nobody sees the sock until you, you know, cross your leg. I mean, very, very few people will see the sock. And so I think that most people don't, don't think that the sock matters. Socksy. I know. So this morning I was looking for a pair of socks. Yeah. Um, actually not so much a sock as more of a. Pow. <laughs> a um, I needed something to wear with a little booty. So more like with a flat. Whoa, so whoa, whoa. You needed something to wear with your little booty. <laughs> what? A booty is a shoe. Oh my gosh! A booty is a shoe. What is this? What? A booty is a shoe. Shoe it is. Shoe it is. Um, anyways, my husband was was I'm looking at your booty. I'm struggling to find the right sock to wear with my booty. Honey, this this doesn't match your booty at all. <laughs> my booty at all. I had a booty issue with my socks. You should you should have led with I got a booty issue. We, we certainly dilemma. would have had, and it's a big one. I mean, it's a little one. I <laughs> Are mean, you saying my booty is no, big? No, I didn't know the issue. I'm talking about the issues. Let's stick to the issues here. But boy, ratings would have gone up if you'd have led with, I got a booty issue. But instead, I don't okay, get enough every socks. Day, every day, I have to fight this conversation it's not, no, no, that, it's that everything that comes out of my mouth ends up being dirty. No, like, it's a it's dirty, dirty word for something. Not dirty. Oh, has Adam says, it's like when I wear those great Argyle socks of mine. Yes, Adam. Yes, I love the Argyle socks. Oh, for Pete's Anyways, sake. if I Thank would have led Thank you, listener Adam, for listening in to I, our conversation and joining it. If I would have led with booty, yeah. and as, and as, I mean, all women, I mean, it, did you know I was talking about shoes? No, you thought maybe was different. It? No, shoes. Women knew I was talking about shoes. Jolene, did you know I was talking about shoes when I said she's, booty? Now she's polling the people yes, of in course. the studio. Of course. Everybody knew booty meant well, a let's shoe. Just, uh, let's see if Mel I can get did, a Mel, did, Mel, you, did you Mel, know did that you we know were talking was about a booty, shoes? A shoe? I had no idea they were shoes. There you go. <laughs> so Thank you. Charlie every also. Day, every day, it seems. I'm, it's not an argument. I say okay. something. I bring up a conversation. I bring up a topic. I just want to clarify for the listener. And I think very innocently. Of course you do. And then you turn it into you turn it into something dirty. You I have am a all about dirty that base. Potty mouth. About that base. Every day. No trouble. And I've I'm 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 getting weary. Don't. I'm getting weary. Don't get weary. Huh. Anyways, I had a sock dilemma, and that sucks. Um, and it did. It kind of does, and way too many sock styles. To choose from. Did you find socks that match your booty? <laughs> That's all I need to know. Then we can move on. I, I did. Okay. <laughs> Angel socks match your booty. You heard it here on the Experience Pros Radio Show. All right. It's time for business tips. It is time for business tips. And Mel Bowman from Bowman HVAC is sitting here in the studio with us. And and we have a very 
um, professional topic that has nothing to do with, with booties. But you, you, Mel, go into people's homes sometimes, right? Because you're working on their HVAC, their heating, their air conditioning. Do you put those little booties, those little booties, those little coverings on your shoes? We have in the past. What are we, they called? They are called booties. So you have yeah. you have big booties. Yes, okay. I have really big booties because yes. they go over my boots. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> they are a clearly. booty. They are booty. They are booty. He let's, knew. He knew about booties. All right. Mel, let's talk a little bit about project management. And uh, in, in just before we went on the air, you were talking about how you, over at uh, Bowman Heating and Air, uh, manage a lot of projects. There's a lot of things going on in your world. Yes, every day. You know, and it's really difficult sometimes whenever you're trying to take care of projects and people are calling you and asking you about other projects. Right. And you're just consistently and constantly dealing with different issues from different projects. So, Mel, do you have uh, a tool or a software or a system that... Uh, a wife. Or, or, or a wife. <laughs> I have a wife and I have a uh, an office manager named Amanda. All and right. they handle a lot of that for us. Um, and they really take a lot of stress off of me. But um, I do still get calls from other customers you know especially some of our bigger customers whenever you're dealing with 30 to 60 to 70 thousand dollars at a time yeah you know they tend to want to know oh where they want your rest. attention yeah, yeah. Right. i uh, want mel yeah exactly um i need to talk to mel <laughs> right now. Right. of course and once they've it's hard to re ever retrain that behavior you can't send somebody else out on your behalf because right. they've grown accustomed to dealing with you. Right. And as a business owner, I think that as our business grows, as we bring on more customers, this really is a challenge because we need to delegate to our staff, but our customers have built that relationship with right. us. And the best way that I've found is to bring the person that you want to take over your place with that customer on all of the calls whenever you go out oh. there. That gets them a relationship, builds them a, uh, helps them build a relationship with each other. And then Eventually, whenever it is time for me to step back and go into my management role and let them take over that account, it's much easier. And the, the customer actually enjoys the relationship that they have with the technician. That is smart. You bring them along. So they're used to meeting with them. They're used right. to seeing them. It's not a surprise right. when they show up if you happen to be doing. And it is. We have to step out of manager role into that CEO role or out of the, you know, the employee role into that CEO role. And I think, Mel, you have done that beautifully. You and your wife, Bobby Sue, as you are expanding, as Bowman HVAC has grown in the Colorado market, um, it's been really impressive to watch you step into that CEO role role and thanks for just being a mentor to all of us well thank you so much i really enjoy speaking with you guys and i've developed some really great relationships with experienced pros and everyone within the network um it's always been really fun meeting with people and meeting new people and it's always been a, a real joy no matter where we go well, it, it, it's a two-way street. I mean, you bring that value right back to uh, all of our members as well. Uh, how do we get in contact with you? If, uh, if our listeners are listening here in the Colorado area, uh, they're going to want somebody that they can dial right now. You do residential and commercial, correct? We do residential and commercial. Um, we really stick with commercial refrigeration, but we do air conditioning and heating and refrigeration. But uh, to get in, in touch with us, call Amanda. Her number is 303-622-6502. That's 303-622-6502. And that's the office number. All right. And BowmanHVAC.com online. Yes. B-O-W-M-A-N. If you uh, just want to take Mel out for a cup of coffee and talk to him about growing your business, taking it into that CEO level, he can help you with that as well. Love having you as weekly business tips here on the show. And uh, Love talking about your booty. <laughs> I have big booties. Yes. And, 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 uh, and, and if your wife is hot... <laughs> you call Bowman H V A C. <laughs> your wife is hot. I almost forgot that. That's like the the greatest campaign I've ever heard for. Oh, you guys uh, are very creative. Everyone comes up to us yeah, and says, "Your hey, wife is your hot." Wife's hot. <laughs> yeah. Yes, she she's is. not. I fix her. I fix the AC. There you go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. If, you, if your wife's too hot, you need uh, the AC to be looked at. Call Bowman H V A C. The phone number one more time. Three zero three six two two. 6502. Hey, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about something that I know that uh, everybody is is interested in, and that's the uh, the business. The business 
of online dating. Everybody's interested in oh, that. Oh, yeah. Everybody. Well, this single guy is. I know. Eric's so excited when this topic came up on in the calendar. He's like, yes, we're going to talk about dating. So don't go anywhere, folks. Coming up next on the Experience Pros radio show after these The messages. Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. You keep wondering about refinancing options. You know rates are low, but don't know how to go about getting the best rate and best type of loan for your situation. What do you even need to get started? Wonder no more. Go to CherylAnswers.com. Cheryl of ALMC Mortgage has put together a checklist of what you need to know and frequently asked questions when it comes to your mortgage. Get answers. Go to CherylAnswers.com. CherylAnswers.com. LMB number 1000204 NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at Dora.state.com. CO.us. Design, implement, and support. If you have a computer, a cell phone, or a tablet, you have a network. Hi, this is Eric, and I've got great news for you. Your network has a guy. For the last 15 years, Brad Binkley of Binkley IT has served his clients without killing their budget. Brad can effectively manage a network of up to 50 computers, typically for about two to four hours a week. Huge savings, no sacrifice. Call Brad today for your next IT partner, 720-254-1057. That's 720-254-1057. Binkley IT, solving the IT puzzle one piece at a time. Join us for one night only at the Denver Airport Marriott for the Card Caper Connection on September 26. The Card Caper Connection mingles entrepreneurs and CEOs alike into amazing networking and fun. The Card Caper Connection is a mystery theater where the stage comes to you and you solve the case with networking. Start your mingling and get your clues early by going to cardcaperconnection.com right now. That's cardcaperconnection, cardcaperconnection.com. The Card Caper Connection, it's a new way to network. Over 400,000 businesses in Colorado have less than 10 employees. Your business probably fits into that category. Imagine what would be accomplished if everyone joined forces. The Colorado Micro Business Alliance brings owners together to give you a unified voice in state and local politics, as well as helps negotiate better deals for products and services. They offer top-level seminars and networking events. Join now for only $5 a month at coloradomicrobusinessalliance.com. Get your payroll and employee paperwork done efficiently, effectively, and economically with Employer Essentials. Free up your time, free up your money, and let Employer Essentials help your business grow. They handle all of your payroll and HR needs at EmployerEssentials.com or call 303-734-9436. 303-734-9436. Let's talk about advertising. It's a key element for growing your company and making sure people are aware of your brand. If you're going to put a half-page ad into a magazine with 60000 in circulation, it'll cost about $1,500, and you get to be in front of your target audience. If you're going to attend a big trade show, you're going to spend about $1,500, and you get to interact with potential clients. If you're going to sponsor a foursome in a golf tournament, you're going to spend about $1,500, and you get to support your favorite charity. At Experience Pros, $1,500 goes a long ways. You get an entire year of membership with business networking, online customizable listing, featured ads, three radio spots during the year, speaking opportunities, sponsorship options, and more. Sign up today at experiencepros.com. Random online searching is one way to find a good company, but an even better way is to choose the companies that are listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory. This elite list of companies have one thing in common. They offer extreme customer service. Their customers are bragging about them, and that's what sets them apart. Trust the companies listed on the Extreme Customer Service Directory to take care of you. Extreme Customer Service Directory at experiencepros.com slash directory. experiencepros.com slash directory. Wake Up is back from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. with your host, Steve Curtis, right here on The Source, your source, 560 KLZ. The experienced pros want to help you get your business right. And now... Back to Eric and Angel on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us for ours. I've been looking forward to this interview. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, as professionally, I want to talk about the business of online dating. 
Of course he does. It was a fun topic as uh, we had our staff meeting last night, last week. But, you know, in spite of the Ashley Madison hack, online dating is an incredible business model. We're going to talk to Anthony Volpe. He's the chief marketing officer for Anastasia Date, AnastasiaDate.com, and also AsianDate.com, both international online dating sites connecting men in the U.S. Yes. With women in Europe and Asia. Beautiful women. He says uh, he understands the stigmas associated with international online dating and is welcoming the opportunity to dispel those myths. Anthony, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you, Angel. Thank you, Eric. Happy to be on. Anthony, very nice to have you along. And uh, I've, I've looked at uh, your, your sites and done, done a little uh, research and background on you. Uh, congratulations on your success as well. Let's talk about something because in the, in the teaser here, we just kind of teed it up with, um, you know, in light of uh, Ashley Madison and the uh, data breach that went on there. And I should make mention, I don't think that's a dating site. That, that's a complete cheating hookup site but they're actually up in membership what is going on and how is that affecting the more traditional online dating sites such as yours well it certainly gives credence to the people who say that you know any pr is good pr right. so it's hard to imagine why people uh, on that particular site where confidentiality is one of the basic value propositions um, why it would go up, but uh, I can't speculate. Only, I guess I would say that probably they didn't have uh, as high an awareness as they do now since everybody knows who they are, and so people who are not inclined to um, go there before because they didn't know about it, now that they know about it, are going there. But to your point, um, regular online dating sites, or an international online dating site or sites, as you mentioned, um, we're very different, of course. We are really in the uh, business of introducing and, and, and uh, helping people understand their dating options. And, and in our case, in Anastasia Date and Asian Date, you know, as you mentioned, we have uh, a bevy of beautiful, interesting, and caring women from uh, across Europe and across Asia. And they're available to be uh, talked to and, and, and chatted with and so on by men around the world. So uh, this has actually helped us because it's raised the, um, raised the prospect that, you know, you don't necessarily have to necessarily be dating the girl next door, that you can expand your world of international or, or dating possibilities internationally. All right. So, Anthony, when you think about the, some of the you know, scams that happen, and we, of course, that's always the stuff that hits the news, right, is, you know, people kind of, uh, pretending to be somebody that they're not because it's so easy to hide behind a facade on on a, a dating site on the internet, right? I can put any picture up I want. I'm so um, much better looking. I mean, life. yeah, I'm super tall on the radio, I tell people. And so is it more of a risk? I mean, obviously, you're never going to run into this person down the street because it's, it's they're across the ocean. So is there more of a risk of being taken advantage of with these international sites? Well, on Anastasia Date, com and asiandate.com specifically, uh, what we have is we have a network of agencies, um, both in Asia as well as in Europe. So the female members that we have, they're actually required to go into the agency in person, bring either a passport or a national identity uh, card, uh, as well as provide their social media profile. So we actually have the agencies uh, interview the women, verify their identity, and then also go to their social media profiles and verify that they are in fact single and not married. So we have a very different kind of model that uh, vastly increases the assurance that we can truly give to people saying that we have verified profiles. Okay, Anthony, you said something that uh, triggered a, uh, an immediate reaction from me. You actually have women on, real women on your sites? <laughs> yes, actually, we have we have verified women on our site, oh. and there are, so many of them are beautiful, interesting, very caring, very uh, professional people. I have to say, I, I toured the world for uh, a number of years, and uh, I ha I have to say, folks, the European women, uh, Asian women, beautiful, beautiful, aesthetically, just gorgeous, uh, and and whatnot. But of course, there's more to it than that in the development of a relationship. Yes, I said that, and. Um, what are some of the, the stigmas and the misconceptions that go along with international dating online? Well, there are several. Uh, one of them is that, um, you know, there's some kind of sex trafficking involved. Another one is that uh, there can be prostitution, the front for prostitution, and so on. Um, you know, 
these are, are really just patently not not true. Uh, as far as sex trafficking goes, this is an international online dating site. So basically, this is not about uh, moving anybody from anywhere, right? These are women in Asia and uh, and Europe. They're they're in their homes. They're they're in their place of residence. We're not we're not sending them anywhere. And they're this is not a site where people are necessarily meeting uh, in person. So number one, they are in their their own place. So there's no movement of people. Number two, uh, with prostitution, typically, as I've heard it, uh, prostitution. If, if, if there's any kind of prostitution, you want to be in the same room together because there's some kind of sex involved. But again, we're talking about international online dating. So our services are around uh, doing live, uh, live chat, which means text chat. Uh, we also have video chat, uh, emails. We also have a phone translation service uh, in case, um, you know, well, there's, there's phone calls. Uh, we also have a phone translation service in case uh, both people are not fluent in each other's language mm -hmm. and so on. So, you know, these are some of the, the stigmas. In, online dating has come a long way in terms of respectability, and international dating is really not that far behind. People just realize now that because of the increased ease of communication and the, the, the decreased cost of communication worldwide, it's so much easier now to speak or communicate with somebody around the world. It is pretty exciting to know that, you know, you're not trapped by just the, the, the neighbors in, you know, the girl next door. You can actually date anybody from around the world right now. Do you find, Anthony, are people falling in love on your site and having to relocate and, and to move across the ocean? <laughs> so we have heard of many, many success stories. And, and the way that we actually define success is not just people who uh, find love and, and, uh, and marry, for example. It can be any uh, of a number of objectives that people are trying to achieve. You know, there are people who just want to really get in the uh, get on the sites to uh, be entertained, flirt, do a little, uh, or have a little escape. Some people want to have just that human warmth and connection. Other people are looking for serious relationships, but not necessarily marriage. And then there's that fourth category of people who are looking for marriage. We've heard across the whole spectrum of those objectives that people are trying to uh, achieve in terms of, you know, people are really finding their needs being met uh, across those objectives. And that's why for the last three years, we've grown 25% every year. Wow. I, I Congratulations for that. I mean, for any business model to grow is, is exciting. Our guest has been Chief Marketing Officer for Anastasia Date and uh, Asian Date, both .com uh, web properties. Anthony Volpe, thank you so very much for, for joining us and for shedding some light on this very interesting topic. And uh, perhaps you'll have a new member shortly. Thank you so much, Angel and Eric. Really Thank appreciate it. Absolutely, absolutely, Anthony. All right, you really you're gonna you're thinking. I, well, you never know. You I mean, never know. Uh, he, Eric is very open. I am to the idea and loved the topic. We're going to talk about dating. Eric loves to talk about dating. Well, I think there's a lot of misconception out there, and I think, uh, of course, with the Ashley Madison hack, uh, it caused a, a big to do. But but most most are well run business models. We'll be back right after these messages. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. Stop calling around looking for the best mortgage rates and call ALMC Mortgage. ALMC Mortgage matches you with the right mortgage for your needs every single time. Now's the right time to finance. Call ALMC Mortgage today at 303-696-6933. 303-696-6933. Check out today's current rates and questions you should ask about your mortgage at almcmortgage.com. almcmortgage.com. LMB number 1000 NMLS number 266695. You can check the licensing status of your mortgage loan originator at dora.state.co.us. If you rely on networking to build your business, you need Renovate. If you are sick of wasting your time cold calling to find a few, you need Renovate. Extreme Relationship Management will help you renovate. Renovate is revolutionary training that elevates your not working and supercharges your networking to get real results. Sign up for the next Renovate training this week at ExtremeRelationshipManagement.com or call 855-I-LIKE-ERM. You need Renovate. Hi, this is Angel, and I've been in my home for 12 years now. When I think about redecorating, I just can't seem to get past what I've always done. Helene's Designs offers a fluff-it-up service for home decorating. She takes what I already have and rearranges just enough to fluff it up. Call Helene to get fluffed up at 720-233-7302. 
Helene's Designs is a full-service design firm that helps you turn your dreams into a reality. Call Helene's Designs today at 720-233-7302 or check out the before and after pictures online at helenesdesigns.com. You're busy, but are you really achieving the dreams you thought you would? Infinite Nation knows that when your vision is big enough, you can create infinite success. Request your free vision check phone call with award-winning vision coach, Carrie Conley. Discover how easy it is to achieve your infinite success. Call 720-331-8693, 720-331-8693, and check out the Vision is Victory workshop online at infinitenation.com. When mom became unable to care for herself, I couldn't always be there. I chose home care assistance because it was the only option that made sense. She's done so much for me. I wasn't going to put my mom in a home. She called home care assistance at 720-443-3371. Mom's caregiver gives her great one-to-one -one care and a lifestyle she deserves, all in the comfort of her own home. Live-in and hourly care available. For a free in-home consultation, call 720-443-3371 or home care assistance Denver. Com. Do you wish your career was moving along a different path? Do you ever feel like your business owns you when it really should be the other way around? Do you feel like this isn't the life you thought you'd be living? Well, you're not alone. Sandy Corrigan has a system that helps people create careers worth having, businesses worth owning, that results in lives worth living. Call or text Sandy Corrigan today at 303-907-1010. That's 303-907-1010. It's worth the phone call. Landlords, listen up. If you have investment property, you need Legacy Properties PM. Devin Bewley will absolutely get you the highest rent possible, handle every imaginable emergency, and make sure that your property is well cared for. He visits every property regularly and knows that he's working for you. Legacy Properties PM, where their promise to you is simple. If your property isn't earning you money, you owe them nothing. There's nothing to lose. 720-989-1996. Mention experience pros and they'll waive the first month management fee. Never forget that moment. As long as I live. It was a moment. It was the moment that changed my life. We looked down from the chopper and saw the whole area was flooded. At that moment, it really hit me. This is why I joined the car. People had gone up to the rooftops to escape the rising waters. Talk about intense moments. We had to lower the guys on line some 30 feet down. This is where teamwork and training really paid off. <laughs> It took steady nerves and steady hands for the chopper pilots to hover like that. No question, guard pilots are the best in the world. I couldn't believe it. I just saved a life. What could be better than serving the people of my hometown? In the National Guard, you serve your community as well as your country while you work or attend college. In return, you gain skills in which you can build a career and receive benefits that can help you pay for college. Learn more about what it means to be a citizen soldier at NationalGuard.com. Yeah, sponsored by the Colorado National Guard, aired by the Colorado Broadcasters Association and this station. John Rush during the afternoon rush, today at 3. Now back to the experience pros on KLZ 560. The Experience Pros Radio Show, where small business is big business and your business is our business. Follow them on Twitter.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you so much for tuning in today. want to uh, give a quick shout out to our uh, online viewers. Did you know that you can actually watch the show by way of YouTube and or our website at experiencepros.com? If you watch through the, through the Google Hangout, you can in, or interact with us. And the reason I bring that up is because our next guest has a universal appeal to everybody in small business. And you may have a question. Absolutely. Jolene Donahue with the OSHA Connection. She's one of the most frequently sought after OSHA compliance subject matter experts nationwide. Many clients have been contacted by OSHA and the OSHA Connection was able to get their files closed without fines. You're a miracle worker, Jolene. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me here today. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm Very gonna... nice to, to have you. There you go. Uh, let, let's check um, this. There are questions that business owners have about OSHA compliance, and uh, I know that you have answers. What, what are some of the top three, call, call it three questions that, that people ask? One of the first things that we get asked is if OSHA even applies to them. 
And any employer with one or more employees does have to follow OSHA regulations. Right. As soon as you hire somebody, you, n- you now need OSHA. Because you always think of it as a warehouse or a restaurant or an automotive place. You know, someplace with big equipment. Danger. And, right? <laughs> or construction. Right? Yes. But even if it's an office, if we have an employee, we have to follow OSHA rules. Offices, restaurants, um, beer Stores, liquor stores now really? have to do some extra rec- record keeping this year. There's all types of employers that have to follow. All right. Uh, what's another thing that uh, people ask? They ask about whether you ha- can fight a citation. OSHA comes in. Is there anything that you can do if OSHA does come in? So if you have an issue with OSHA. Yes. If OSHA calls you or sends you a letter, is there anything that you can do? It's kind of like the IRS, and I think most people just kind of think, oh, nope, they, they asked, and yeah, you, you have to just follow their rules, right? Yes, and you pull out your checkbook and write it. No. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, there are things that you can do, and there are a lot of responses that you can give to OSHA that can prevent them from citing you or fining you, even if they've already contacted you with a complaint. Oh, mm-hmm. so even after the complaint, we can still resolve it, even if they've come in and said, yeah, you should all have booties on your shoes if we can fix that right <laughs> yes absolutely okay. all right all right it's never and too late to respond i like that i like that i'm still i'm still kind of caught up on that if you have an employee you have to follow the right. OSHA rules where do we find all those osha rules is there is there an easy to find website or a nice little simple list for us <laughs> we can we can certainly send you a list of some of those most frequently sought after questions um you can contact us through our contact form on the website or you can go to osha.gov directly. Um, it's pretty substantial, but yeah. we can help you filter through that. Since you mentioned the website, let's go ahead and give the URL for your website, please. It is www.theoshaconnection.com. Theoshaconnection.com. Yes, All right, sir. good deal. All right, so did we cover the top questions that business owners ask? Those are the main ones. Those are the main ones. Okay, so then um, you talk about a cost containment program. I need a cost containment program. I need to contain She's my She's looking costs. at me. <laughs> um, what is a cost containment program? Because I'm thinking, I'm sure it's something different than what I'm thinking. Right. Well, cost containment programs are usually established with your insurance premiums for workers' compensation. And by establishing certain safety programs, meeting certain goals and, and um, regulations, you can get up to 20% off of your insurance premiums. Wow, that's, what, 20%? Sig- that's significant. Up to 20%, absolutely. That is significant. And especially for a small business owner, even with one employee, think of your insurance premium and 20% off of that. Uh-huh. Everybody is eligible for those. Certain insurance companies offer it and some don't, but there's different programs in there that we can take a look at and see if we can get you a discount. All right. Uh, so what, what, would we, what would we have to do to get that little discount, big discount? <laughs> there are different safety programs that you want to have in place. Um, there are different training systems that you need to do related you, to safety. You teach this stuff in great when we have more time, right? Yes. Uh, you, you have uh, opportunity for people to learn on that. Now, I've heard about this for a long time. I don't know if it applies to us. Do we need a safety committee? You don't have to have a safety committee. Okay. Actually, nobody has to. What? Nobody has to, but what happens is OSHA has designed a whole list of regulations that you have to follow, and it's usually the most effective way to get those done. Is to have a committee that just covers all of that. Right. Right. Somebody that's that's calling Jolene and her team who's going through the checklist and making sure if we need if we need things, it's just easier to have somebody in charge of that, I'm sure. We would not put Eric in charge of our safety committee. Oh, come on. Um, um, but we would put somebody very responsible. But it's nice to know. You don't have to have one, but it's just, it's helpful. What? We would not put Eric in there, but we would put somebody very responsible. Right? <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, let's talk about safety glasses. Let's just say that I'm in a, a job where, uh, or I own a, a business where sparks could fly or dust could get in my eyes or whatever. Do I have to pay for safety glasses as the employer? No, the employer does not have to pay. Well, the employer has to pay for certain parts of it. If someone has prescription glasses, you don't have to pay for the prescription safety glasses, but the employer does have to pay for some type of lens that would wrap around that. Okay. Oh, you have to provide something, right? Some things, um, but it depends on what part of your body it goes on. Shoes you don't necessarily have to pay for as an employer. So the employer does not have to pay for the booty. <laughs> they probably have to pay for the booty, but not the steel-toed boots. Right. <laughs> Got it. All right. I'm understanding now. All right. And how do you know if you need 
I mean, I, sometimes I think I need safety glasses. Eric's hands are flying. <laughs> yeah. And he wears and he wears jewelry on all of his little fingers. No, no, no. <laughs> if there's the potential, not all of them. <laughs> if there's the potential for getting hit um, in your eyes, then yes, you would have to wear safety glasses. I needed a pair of safety glasses walking into my house yesterday. I banged my eye on the my eyebrow bone on my front door walking into my house last night. I was carrying too much stuff and it banged me. So, all right, so. How do I know that OSHA's, I mean, do they just come and inspect my business? Do they make an appointment? Do I have to call them and say, okay, I'm ready? Or do I never want to call them? Never call them and ask them to come and do an inspection. That would be, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, because we do have that misconception sometimes too. But they can come randomly. They don't schedule an inspection. They will just show up on your door or they'll send you a letter and say, Please respond right away, and if you don't, then we will be knocking on your door. All right. Okay. Uh, another gov government agency that uh, operates in much the similar similar way to the IRS. Um, what if you get an issue to fine? Uh, should should I just pay that? I mean, OSHA said. We don't recommend that. We recommend that you attend an informal conference and ask for that fine to be negotiated down. Even if it's something that you had to correct, you want to do your correction, show in um, good faith that you've made those changes, but then ask for a fine reduction. So does the OSHA connection, do you help us with those meetings? Because I think, you know, if the IRS called, we'd call our CPA and say, you come to the meeting with us because I don't get it. Do you attend those with your clients or do you just give them the material that they need to attend those meetings? We absolutely will attend on your behalf. We can attend with you or we can prep you in advance and help you All go sorts on your of own. options. So, yes. We can do it for you. You're like, do it yourself. We can hold your hand. And same, same with those options if they call you and... Um, and, and send you a letter, probably call the OSHA connection first before we respond so that we know that we're covered when they, if they do show up, right? Absolutely. We have a lot of experience in responding and we know the keywords that you would need to use so that you can help avoid some of those unnecessary fines. All right. So, Jolene, as we teed it up at the top of this segment, we, uh, I think this is an important message for everybody who can hear our voice coast to coast. You offer some online education. Is that correct? We do. We have a full course of about 6,000 courses online. And wow. we do have a, a discount for your listeners today. Oh, awesome. Okay. I love it when our name gives you a discount. Absolutely. We have a 20% off discount. If you'll call our office, we'll give you the code for any of the online courses that you would like to attend. Now, that can be everything from professional development, which might include HR compliance with ADA, all the way to becoming an insurance claims administrator. All of it. 6,000 courses to yes. choose from? Yes. We can help you n narrow that down. Yeah, of course. I bet you could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you could. Don't just start, go through one, and just keep going. Pick them and pick up the right ones for, for your company. So what is the phone number for people to call if they want to, uh, to take advantage of this discount? Absolutely. It's 1-877-646-4974. Do that again. 877-646-4974. You can find them online at theoshaconnection.com, theoshaconnection.com. Again, the most frequently sought after OSHA compliance subject matter expert nationwide. And she's right here. She's based in Colorado, but she can help you all across the country. Your toll-free number one more time, Jolene. Absolutely. 877-646-4974. Four nine seven four. We want to uh, congratulate you. You have seen some phenomenal growth in the last year or two uh, with the OSHA Connection. It really is catching on that uh, you're out there. You're here to help. You do save people tremendous amounts of money and stress, and and you protect yes. the 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 work environment as well. So yes, absolutely. Congratulations on your growth. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, give that phone number one more time just in case, uh, you know, if people are driving and they're like, oh, I got I to stop, pull over. What is the number again? It is 1-877-646-4974. When you think OSHA and OSHA comes calling, think the OSHA connection. She's going to take excellent care of you no matter where you are in the country, making sure you are compliant. Thanks, Jolene, for being here today. Thank you so much. Business tips and insights coming up next with our good friend Greg Bashaw with the Colorado Biz Micro Business Alliance. That's right after this. Experience pros revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. 
Attention business owners, if you're waiting 30 to 60 days or more to get paid, Riviera Finance can turn your invoices into immediate cash flow. Let them help. Their process is simple and no debt is created. Riviera Finance is located right here in Denver. They've been helping companies across the U.S. for over 40 years. So if you bill on credit but need better cash flow, call Jack Loudon at Riviera Finance now at 303-409-7706. That's 303-409-7706. Or visit Riviera Finance. SharpNet Solutions has been optimizing websites for over 16 years, since before Google was even a company. Hi, this is Eric, and I want you to let that sink in for a moment. SharpNet Solutions has been helping hundreds of small businesses get found on the search engines since before Google became Google. They're one of the most affordable SEO firms in the country, and if you tell them Experience Pro sent you, you'll get up to 50% off of your SEO services. Still wonder if they can help you? Google experience pros we use them 303-900-4988 that's 303-900-4988 or sharpnetsolutions.com hi this is angel and i want you to picture this you're driving home after soccer practice your little girl is sitting in the back seat and the radio is gently playing your favorite music your car is your world for the moment and your world is safe because nylon's collision center wouldn't cut corners on the quality of parts when they fixed that fender bender last month N-Y-L-U-N-D-S collision.com. No one knows your car better. The safety of your whole world is in their hands. Visit nylandscollision.com or call them at 303-761-9219. Dude, your wife's hot. I know, right? I'm not kidding. She's really hot. Yeah, I married up. I'm trying to tell you your wife's hot. Well, someone... Please call Bowman Heating and Air. It's 90 degrees in here. Don't let anyone else tell you how hot your wife is. Call Bowman Heating and Air today. 303-622-6502. Bowman Heating and Air. Keeping couples together and relationships cool. Ask about the preventative maintenance option with a 100% mechanical guarantee. BowmanHVAC.com. Imagine having a business partner watch over your computer systems day and night, actively responding to changing needs in your environment, helping make sure things run fast and smooth, protecting your valuable information. With Availability, our managed services platform, C-Squared Computer Consulting can provide 24 by 7 monitoring, manage updates, and optimize your systems. Let C-Squared be your business partner. Call us at 303-933-1113. Mention Experience Pros, and we'll waive the setup fee. You've had it with the big box print shops and online printing companies. Sure, they offer cheap services and that's what you get, cheap service. Isn't it about time you found someone who not only made you look good, but also makes you feel good? Award-winning PrintingDoneQuickly.com offers the highest level of concierge service without the concierge price. PrintingDoneQuickly.com, where we serve your business as we wish to be served, and quickly too. That's PrintingDoneQuickly.com. If printing is an essential part of your business day, then RMK Cartridge is your lifeline to success. Hi, this is Eric, and Angel and I wouldn't think of running our business without having RMK Cartridge on our speed dial. Remanufactured ink and toner cartridges are just the beginning. Free delivery and award-winning service coupled with 30 to 50% savings over original manufacturer products means that we're saving time, money, and space in the landfill all at once. Treat your printer to the best. Contact the guys at RMK Cartridge at 303-781-2076 or on the web at rmkcartridge.com. Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho is the official fitness sponsor of the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is Angel, and Orange Theory is the energizing group fitness concept that is sweeping the nation. Experience the orange effect at the location Eric and I work out at. It's Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. You'll see more energy, visible toning, and extra calorie burn for up to 36 hours after your workout. Call for a free Saturday session at 303-645-4290. That's 303-645-4290. We'll see you at Orange Theory Fitness at Parker and Arapaho Road. There's only one place in the dial for you to share your stories of great customer service, and that's Fan Bragging Friday on the Experience Pros Radio Show. Every Friday, the phone lines are open for you to call and tell the world who's getting it right in business. Call 855-FAN-BRAG and change the way people treat people in business. You can post your stories every day on the Experience Pros Facebook page and call in on Fridays for Fan Bragging Friday at 855-326-2724. 855-FAN-BRAG. Tell Eric and Angel and then and tell the world about Fan Bragging Friday. The 
Experienced pros want to help you get your business right. And now, back to Eric and Angel on the Experienced Pros Radio Show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Very nice to have you along with us. Time for business tips and insights. And our good friend Greg Bashaw is with us as he is every time at this time of the week. Greg, welcome. Hi, guys. Always glad to be here. Very nice to have you along with us. Greg, what are we talking about today? Well, today is going to be my number one most important biz tip that I give. Wow. And interestingly, I think for most people, or for many at least, it's going to seem like pretty boring advice that they've heard a million times, but I think done right, it is really the most important thing. All right. All right. Well, listen up and take Snap notes. <laughs> and I think, Greg, I love how you teed it up because sometimes the simple things tend to be the most profound and we overlook them because they're simple. Um, but if Greg from the Colorado Micro Business Alliance is saying this, this is the most important thing with all of your history, all the companies you've started, all the people you've helped start businesses, we mm -hmm. are we are listening. Greg, is this uh, is this important for people the beyond the, the four walls of Colorado? Oh, absolutely. This is for anybody who owns a business anywhere. All right, go for it. All right. So the tip is this: is you need to define your target market as clearly and narrowly as possible. Amen. We agree with you, Greg, but people don't want to do that. They don't want to narrow that down. Oh, I think you're right. In fact, it's interesting. I go to these networking events and I talk to lots of great people there. But one of the questions I always ask is, so tell me about your target market. Who are you going after? Because I want to find out how I can help. And, and it's amazing how often they answer that question in a very broad, broad way. And, and I think they're excited to be able to define their target market as nearly all human beings who live on earth, right. but, but it's not helpful. It's not helpful because the goal of defining your target market is to know exactly where to concentrate your lead generation efforts. The goal in, in defining your target market is to know how to, de, how to uh, refine your product so it is exactly what that target market needs. And uh, if you're too broad, you can't do that. All right, Greg. So then help me understand how I can narrow it down. By what what categories do I kind of filter things through? Sure. So here are, the, here are some categories. These aren't all of them, but I think this is a good start. So if you define your target market by geography, for mm -hmm. example, profession, age perhaps, gender, personal income, household income, company revenue, those are good places to start. All right. Yeah, and most people say, you know, I, I help small to medium-sized businesses. What does that mean? And I think <laughs> one of the examples or one of the – if if you are talking about your company to somebody right. and they can say, oh, that's me or that's somebody I know. But when you mm -hmm. say a small to medium-sized business, I've got I've got nothing. So give me give me an example of, of – you know, as somebody's listening today, because we're talking mm -hmm. about it, but can you can you give us an example, Greg? Oh, I'll give you a great example. So I used to own a window washing company, and uh, I think if you were to ask most window washers what exactly their target market is here in the Denver area, they would say homeowners in the Denver area. Well, what's I don't that? think well, I don't think that's narrow enough. And, and I'm going to give you the good example, and I think it'll make sense. So the good example is, I, I defined my target market as owners of single family homes valued $300,000 and up uh, in ungated HOA communities in the towns of Parker and Lone Tree. The buyer is usually female, age 35 to 65. Wow. That is a defined target audience. Now you know exactly where to go. <laughs> right? Because you know, even when you said homeowners in the Denver area, I'm thinking, well, there's a geography, right? And they're homeowners. That sure. describes mm -hmm. you know, certain persons, not apartment dwellers, like you've narrowed it down, but single family homes, 300,000 ungated HOA communities in Parker and Lone Tree, usually women, I, you have, you have knocked it out of the park. Now, now, Greg, once we, once we define that, I know we're going to need some help in, in how we, what we do with that information, what we do once mm -hmm. we define it. Can you come back next week and help us with that? Absolutely. So next week we'll take that very specific example and say, all right, so what? What does that mean? Now what do I do with that information? And I think I think your listeners are going to find that really interesting. That is awesome. ColoradoMicroBusinessAlliance.com. Uh, give a quick snapshot of what you do for our listeners, Greg. 
We are a statewide business association for business owners that have 10 or fewer employees all the way down to the solopreneur. So we do three things. We have political advocacy. We do volume purchasing for our members. And we also have monthly training with really top end trainers. And we are members. Encourage our listeners, no matter where you are, join up. Sign up to be a member of the Colorado Micro Business Alliance at coloradomicrobusinessalliance.com. $5 a month or $48 a year. Greg, thanks so much for the business tip today. All right. Thanks for having me, guys. Have you, a great day. You bet. We sure appreciate you. All right. You're ready to get a uh, fresh start? Need a quick renewal? I think I do. All right. Stop looking at me like that. My goodness, you've been a little uh, adversarial today. Um, time to get reinvigorated. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's the first thing you need to do. Get some glorious sleep. Glorious sleep. Yeah. I, I think I get some glorious sleep. Love that. Nights, yeah. Clean out your clutter. Okay. Unplug. Unplug. I got this list just for you, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Get in touch with nature. All right. I like. I like this. Get, I think I have to go. I have to go into Estes Park um, over the weekend. I hear the the elk are they're bugling. Bugling. Yes, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool to hear? Right. Right. Absolutely. That would get you unplugged and get, get in touch with your start. body. Uh, you know, we, we we had a workout uh, yesterday. That oh boy. <sighs> Yeah, Andre. Our tra trainer Andre knows how to hurt me. His muscles have muscles. I think we're going to start naming the the muscles because he's so <laughs> incredible. He does help you get in touch with with your body, but in a fun way. Yeah. It is a, it's a fun workout. I asked him what the name of these muscles were because these muscles were hurting me very. Apparently, it's my gluteus minimus uh, hurt mm. in a big way. I wish, I wish my gluteus was minimus. <laughs> well, you just need smaller booty. Um, Connect with loved ones. That's how you re-energize. Right. right. You know what they do? They they just they you know it's just nice to hear their voice and reach out and touch them. My dad just picks up the phone once in a while and you know as he's sitting in traffic and he reaches out to me, my brother, my sister, just to just to connect. It's fun. And finally, ask for and give forgiveness. Those are the tips that are uh, Kevin Dom offers to get a fresh start right now. You know, just just get connected. We've got a whole other hour of positive business talk coming up next, so we want you to stick around. Make sure that you turn up the volume and do business with the people who do business with the pros. This is Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros Radio Show, the most positive business talk show in America. This has been the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tusty and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or visit them on the web at experiencepros.com, facebook.com slash experiencepros, and twitter.com slash experiencepros. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. Haystack Help Radio with Scott Wadley. Today at noon on KLZ 560. Before a disaster turns your family's world upside down, it's up to you to be ready. Get a kit. Make a plan. Be informed. Learn how at www.ready.gov. Brought to you by the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the Ad Council. KLZ AM 560. KLZ HD Denver. Listen live at KLZ560radio.com. KLZ 560, a Crawford Broadcasting God and Country Station. USA Headline News. I'm Ron Taylor. Two students are dead after a school bus plunged over a Houston freeway guardrail and crashed onto the street below. Fire officials say three other students and the bus driver were injured and taken to area hospitals. The bus was carrying students to Fur High School this morning when it crashed along the 610 loop in southeast Houston. Detectives in Monmouth County, New Jersey, are trying to figure out who would shoot a young man not far from his old bridge home. Ed Karecki is stunned about hearing his 22-year-old son, William, was killed Sunday night in a parking lot off Ocean Boulevard. He walked out behind me. I was on a computer getting ready for a football game, and he walked out. He never came back. No arrests have been made. Police have not said whether the shooting could be related to an incident in July when Karecki was charged with assault and robbery. Ben Carson is just about even with frontrunner Donald Trump in a new poll out today. The latest New York Times CBS poll shows Trump the favorite of 27% of likely Republican voters. Retired neurosurgeon Carson is at 23%, which is well within the poll's six-point margin of error. This is USA Headline News. 
Right now at the Home Depot, save 20% when you buy one or more pallets of in-stock GAF shingles. So let's raise the roof and lower the cost with bulk pricing on top of the line GAF shingles, including Timberline, America's favorite shingle. This is worth shouting from the rooftops. Let's do this. Save 20% on one or more pallets of in-stock GAF shingles at the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. Valid through September 30th, U.S. only. See store for details. Hey, neighbor, it's me. That guy two desks away that never takes a sick day. Seriously, you could always count on me to show up, even if I feel terrible. <laughs> Which reminds me, I have the flu, and if you're one of the 63% of people that didn't get their flu shot, <laughs> you can get it from me. You really should get a flu shot at Rite Aid, where you'll also get a free cold and flu protection plan to protect you from people like me. Another reason Rite Aid says with us, it's personal. Flu vaccines available while supplies last. Age restrictions apply in some states. See pharmacists for details. KLZ Hey everybody, it's Eric and Angel and the Experience Pros Radio Show is coming up next. Absolutely, and today is the final day for the early bird pricing for the Real Women, Real Issues, Real Solutions Christian Women Conference that's going on October 3rd. That's a Saturday. You want to get your tickets at Eventbrite. Just look up Eventbrite and Real Women, Real Issues. You're one of those speakers, aren't you? I am. I'm actually getting to be one of the speakers. My friend Angie Austin, who hosts The Good Day and The Good News with Angie Austin. She also hosts Daybreak USA. She's kind of a rock star. Um, incredible story. Also, our friend Carrie Conley from Infinite Nation is one of the speakers that day. It's a great lineup. Six fantastic women, six powerful stories. You don't want to miss it. And today is that day. You can bring your girlfriend, kind of get your girlfriend in and uh, do a fabulous deal. But that is that early bird pricing does end today. Get on it. All right. Let's take a look at the calendar for some uh, fantastic networking events coming up, including the one tonight up in Loveland. If you can hear our voice up there in Loveland, we'd love to invite you to Mimi's Cafe. And it's from 530 to, uh, 530 to 7.30 p.m. tonight. Tonight, tomorrow, Wednesday, what is that, Wednesday, September 16th, 16th uh, there's a follow-up strategy group training hosted by CR Conversations going on at 9 a.m. You want to learn the best follow-up strategy she was fan about for some of her workshops um, you know, from CR Conversations. So sign up for that. You can find it on our calendar, experiencepros.com. Click on the calendar tab. And then tomorrow night, we're at the Fox and the Hound. Right. Epic networking. You know, this is the big event of the month for us. Uh, there will probably be 100 plus uh, people there. And it is from 5.30 to 7.30 is the regular traditional networking. But stay, stay an extra hour and dance with us. We crank up the dance party at the end of this. It is super fun, super crazy, super just it's just super. But if you want something a little more quiet, you know, that's more your speed and maybe something early in the morning, check out our brand new leads groups going on the on every Thursday morning at 7.30 a.m. Again, the details are on our calendar if a leads group is more your speed. And then our friends over, um, Sabina Claus is doing a 2015 Q4 marketing workshop. We're talking the fourth quarter, making sure your business is growing. You have everything you need to end the year strong. Sign up for that as well. That's September 17th at two o'clock. On Saturday the 19th, it's $20 Saturday at iMazing Creations. You want to get out there and check that out. It is, uh, they, they do uh, lash and brow tinting, brow shaping, lap, uh, lip and chin waxing, underarm waxing, a whole bunch of stuff. Check out that at the calendar, experiencepros.com for slash calendar and that's just this week right that is just this week next week there's a fresh pasta class social media webinar and then we're going to work out at orange theory fitness yeah we're Friday. working out at orange theory it's kind of an end your month end your week with us by working out at orange theory on the 25th the card caper mystery connection is going on on the 26th oh and then boom and stern storming and that wraps up the month folks check it all out at the calendar you're going to love it experiencepros.com slash a calendar. Subscribe to it and never miss an event. All right. Now it's time to buckle up and get ready because here comes the Experience Pros radio show. You know it as the most positive business talk show in America. Do us a favor. Call somebody and tell them it's coming up now. Just selecting good investments and fund managers may not prepare you for the retirement income you need. There are five important, less obvious decisions. Learn these five decisions and how to make them. Tune in to America's Wealth Management Show, sponsored locally by Life Certain Wealth Strategies here on KLZ 560 every Saturday morning from 9 to 10. Rush to Reason with John Rush, this afternoon at 3. Now back to the experience pros on KLZ 560. 
You are listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, where business revolutionaries, angel to best selling authors of lists that save my business, and founders of Experience Pros University are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Welcome to the Experience Pearls Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us today. We're here to remind you that small business is big business, and your business is our business. So um, I uh, I have always been impressed with uh, you know flight attendants and, and that line of work. I thought that would be like a really cool job. And my mom wanted me to be a flight attendant, you know, for the benefits. Why are you laughing at me? Well, I just I, I kind of thought of you as a flight attendant. How, how? Not well enough. But I was thinking you'd, you'd have to have like a booster seat or something like that to, to climb up on something to, to put the, the. Yeah, no, not tall enough. No. Not tall enough. But. Um, Maybe I, you could work some of those lower planes. You know, the ones that fold me no, in half. No, no, oh, no. Well, that's not for you? No. I, the whole up and down equilibrium messing with. I, I don't know how, those, how they do that really? all day long. Well, uh, apparently, uh, 130 flight attendants from uh, Air India will no longer be flight attendants. Hmm. And I guess it, it takes me out of the, the run. No, no. Well, kind of, yes. Yeah. You see, they're overweight. What? But they're not really like over overweight. They're just kind of overweight. You see. Um, There's got to be a different reason. No, no, no. No. It's their BMI. You know, the body mass index. Are you right, familiar with that? Yeah, right, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, well, yeah, I have a I have a we a we fit tells me my BMI. Well, let's just talk about what the, our in, in, here in the U.S. The National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute says that a healthy BMI is between eighteen point five and twenty four point nine, which puts me on the believe it or not obese scale because I am twenty five point two. How do you know your BMI? Because I had it measured. When? A while ago. And you remember this number? Damn straight, I'm fat. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what mine is. I know the little thing and it, you know, it's in the range, but I couldn't tell you what my number is. Well, apparently. It's just one of those things. I don't. I am blubberific, hmm. but uh, here's here's the thing with, with these folks in, uh, in, in India uh, and their airline. So their BMI, are they blubberific? No. no. It exceeds 22. Now, remember, we say that healthy is between 18.5 and 24.9, pretty near 25, right? Mm-hmm. No. If your BMI exceeds 22 in India, you can no longer be a flight attendant on Air Air India. All right. So my husband worked for Frontier Airlines for a very short period of time yep. as a baggage handler. And they have to physically count every suitcase, every piece of luggage that yep. goes on onto the airplane right. because of weight issues. Now, you know, you're allowed to have a 50-pound suitcase sure but even that it's not like this perfect science we're talking about in an airline and then how do they know how many people have overhead suitcases and how much do those weigh and how much do the well there's computers for all that there's a very strategic i mean it's a very important piece that they make them count the suitcases so that they know how much weight is in the cargo i totally understand that but we're talking about on an international airliner what six maybe eight people and we're talking about the difference of six, maybe eight pounds. Yeah, that, that seems... It's like, ridiculous. I am thinking that this is not the whole story. It is the whole story. The company in uh, 2014, Air India, will move 130... Uh, warned uh, uh, 600 people saying, if you don't lose weight, we're going to take you off uh, flights and give you stationary jobs. I think they used to be very strict about about that kind of stuff here in the United States too. Not like this. Well, I don't know. No I think way. they used to be. No. And so they're just a little behind. I think. And, and the people will catch on, and that you can't discriminate against, you know, BMI. But they used to do that here. BMI. I, I mean, look, if you're if you're grotesquely overweight, fine. But if your BMI <gasps> oh, is, wait, your, no, no. Oh, I can. I could do that because you have to be no taller than five. That's Air China. That's different. Oh, five and a half. Feet. Yeah, that's Air oh. China. You oh. can, yeah. <laughs> they got little. They got little flight attendants. Yeah, they got little planes. And they're little planes. I could probably reach I everything. Know. Yeah, but you still have the equilibrium going up and down and all that stuff going on. 
But anyways, uh, I don't think I could ever be an Air India uh, mm. flight attendant because my BMI says that I'm obese. Am I obese? You are not obese. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not obese. You are not obese. Do you feel better? A little bit. A little better. Yeah. We need to get a little wee fit. I think it, it's a little The weird. wee fit will yell at you. Uh, no doubt. Yeah. It's like, well, you that's need why to we don't have more. a wee fit. You we ain't to. fit. It's been, it's been, you know, several days since you've worked out. It, Try to get in shape. Yeah. Round is still a shape. Accountability from your wee fit is really, is there really humorous. Go. All right. Well, we're going to come to our business tips and insights. We've got Sandra Corrigan in the studio with Keller Williams. She's a trainer for realtors in uh, Keller Williams. And this segment is brought to you by Prospect Mortgage. Sandy, welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Thank Show. Thank you. And I am not talking about my BMI other than to say it's getting better. It's getting better. All right. Well, <laughs> so that's just, good, right? And, and my you better. know you're not I do, and I'm not saying it on the air. I'm not asking you to. I'm not <laughs> right. asking you to. I but was just really better. Sh- shocked that he actually, that he actually he knew, knew his actually, numbers. I've, I've so. been tracking it. Oh, all right. Well, we're going to be talking about a different subject, although maybe there's some correlation between BMI and wisdom, because oh. today I want to talk to you about being wise. Oh, mm. I like and wisdom. I think what's really interesting, have you ever been in the presence of somebody and felt like, wow, they just really brought a lot of wisdom? Yes. 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 And how different that experience with that person is? And we it, feel that way with you. Every oh, single yeah. time you come into the yeah, studio, we feel that way. I that, mentioned so. that. It's true. Well, birds of a feather flock together. Oh, so, <laughs> you know, we're wise together. We really are. In fact, that's a part of wisdom. So um, one of the things I thought that was so interesting is that psychologists actually believe, have a hard time describing or really defining it. Oh. And so the definition that I pulled up that I liked is that wisdom is an integration of knowledge, experience, and deep understanding that involves an understanding of the seasons of life and the ebb of flow, the counterbalance of life. Wow. That's so that's deep. that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. And it also includes the attributes of creativity, excellence, and integrity. Oh. It, well, listen to us. We're so Seriously. profound. When you think about because I think a lot of times we think wisdom is just academic, right? Book mm-hmm. knowledge. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot rolled there's into There's a lot that. in this, right? Yes. So I'm gonna give you some things to think about. Um, you know, studies also say that wise people are actually more optimistic because they really believe that the problems of the world can be solved. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I believe that. And they are also peaceful and calm in the midst of difficulty. So that rare combination of optimism, belief, and calm and peacefulness and steadiness that it can actually be done. That discounts a lot of the people that we see on the mainstream media these days. (laughs) And you mentioned intelligence. Do you know that it's only 2% in the equation of wisdom? Wow. So it's not about being smart. It isn't. So here's some things it is about. Okay. First of all, it's not an age thing. And I have my daughter, Stephanie, uh, who's with us today in the studio. She is one of the wisest 26-year-olds I know. I learn things from her every day. Fantastic. So wisdom is not about age. It's about experience. And in fact, it's a reflection on the lessons that you're learning in life and on the journey. And it's also um, one of the keys is self-reflection. So really taking personal responsibility. What did I bring to this? What didn't I bring to this? Right. And being able to catalog that and remember that for future decision making. Second, it's colorful. Colorful. So, yeah, it's colorful. What color is it? It is multicolored. All right. And what I mean by that is that a wise person is able to consider the paradoxes of life. Mm, mm. I agree and with also that. Eric, you like this, yes, ma'am. also can bring humor to any situation. Thank you. So we have to have a lightheartedness in terms of wisdom. Um, I like this quote by philosopher Bertrand Russell. He says, fools and fanatics are always so certain of themselves, but wiser people so full of doubts. Mm. Wow. So one of my favorite stories about wisdom is um, in the book, in Bill Johnson's new book, The Power to Change the World. He talks about King Solomon. Yep. Remember sure. that story? The right. wisest, wisest man, man who ever lived, yes. right? And he said, um, he asked for wisdom because that was considered the greatest of all things because he wanted to rule and reign and judge well. And so um, the Hebrew word for wisdom is shama, and it means to hear. So wisdom can be described as having an understanding or hearing heart. Mm. Mm. So it's not just about the words like the ear, real. It's about the heart. Sandy, there's a the place heart. for wisdom in business. Yes? Yes, absolutely. In fact, what kind of business person would we be if we couldn't hear with our heart? Right. So I want wisdom, do you? Absolutely.